When I work with MEM, I want the process to be as standardized as possible. When it comes to application management, this is your rule of thumb. There should be no manual installations for your users. It should be clean and automated and standardized from a central perspective. For many years, actually starting in 2000, we have had robust installation methods using Windows Installer. The thing about Windows Installer is that it is fairly complex to build applications in that MSI format. What it also did was automating an app, but it took time to mastering all the rules of the Windows Installer. Many great tools exist out there, for example, Smart Package Studio, Master Packager, or even Admin Studio. As I searched the internet, I came across this PowerShell app deployment toolkit. It was born in 2013 and it has evolved over the time. It's founded by Dan Cunningham and Sean Lillis and over the time many many people have contributed to this community tool. And I want to give you some reasons why to actually go use this tool. It's easy to use. If you're a PowerShell beginner, you can use the template and the functions provided with the toolkit. It's consistent, it's very powerful, it's got a user interface, and it got a localized UI experience that can use the language of your OS. And lastly, it integrates perfectly with MEM. So Intune Config Manager, it's very suited and fits well together. So if you like to master customization of applications, this is the series for you. I will show you how to get started and how to evolve your skills. And the best of it, you don't have to be a PowerShell wizard to even begin using it. To begin with, we go into a browser and we will type psappdeploymenttoolkit.com. I'll post it in the description as well. From here, we go to download and we go scroll down here into psappdeploytoolkit384.zip. Let's go to the download folder here and let's see what's inside the zip can see license, change log, etc. That can be very helpful. In this case, we are interested in what's inside the toolkit. Let's put that into the downloads folder. And we will see three folders and three files. And let's start with the deploy application PS1. That is the file that performs the actual install and uninstall and the file we need to modify when we want to execute certain uh, commands. The deploy application XE is an optional executable that can be used to launch the deploy application PS script without opening a PowerShell console or anything else. Support passing uh, commands through the exe file and into the PowerShell application PS1 script. The files folder is where we put our installation files and the support files can be used as an optional folder to copy files into certain folder structure on your device, etc. So app deployment toolkits. If we look at the app deploy toolkit main PS1, that contains all of the functions and logic used by the installation script. This way, we don't have all the logics and confusion in the installation script, and that's quite intelligent. So this is where the core application or PowerShell toolkit uh, reside. We have a app deployment toolkit logo, which is shown when we uh, launch the toolkit. I will show you that a little bit later. We have the App Deployment Toolkit Configuration XML. That contains configurable options referred by the Application Toolkit main PS1 script, such as MSI switches and user interface messages. And this is actually just to make it more easy to 
make configurations to this application toolkit. Then we have a, a picture app deployment toolkit banner where we can change and make this our own so that it, it looks like your company branding or something you could put in here. And if we open this with paint, we will be able to see in which format or which image sizing we want this module to be. As you can see, we will have 450 width and 50 in height. So that's how your logo or how you would um, create your picture. We have our app deployment toolkit extensions. This is actually also an optional PowerShell script that can be used to extend the toolkit functionality. So if you have any custom functions you would like to put into the toolkit, provide it here. Finally, we go into the app deploy toolkit help, which is actually a script you can run which will generate a, a graphic user interface for us. And this is really, really nice when you want to know which commands or which functions is inside the toolkit. So for example, I would like to copy a file. I would go to this function and I would scroll down here all the way to the examples. So what I would put into the app deployment toolkit would be like this where I copy a file from the support files, the support files, this is the support files, and I copy it to my Windows uh, folder where I put my file. So that's the simplicity of these functions. I could execute MSIs, I could execute exe files, uh, etc. There's a lot of functions in here and we are going to look further into that. So let's go into the configuration because now we want to make a standard so that we can reuse this as a template for every application we create in our deployment system. Let's open the config with notepad and go to the logging function. This kit will log all information to Windows, logs and software. I don't want that because when I use Intune, I have this logging function that I use for debugging, etc. I take my full path and I add it here to the toolkit. Like that. Now the toolkit will always log automatically into this Intune management extension logs and I will be able to grab that logs using the built-in the Intune diagnostic function. Now the other thing we need to change is that if we're using MSIs, they are logging as well. And I would like those to come to the same destination. So let's find the MSI log path and it's right there. Perfect. I am actually ready to save this. And close it. Now the only thing we need to do is to create this banner. I've cheated and I already created one. Let's see how that looks like. So I have my company name. So I'll we'll just copy this one to our template like that. Replace it. And now let's see how that looks like. So this is how App Deployment Toolkit is configured. And now you have a template you can use for all your applications uh, going forward. And uh, that is just nice. So in the next chapter of the how to use App Deployment Toolkit, I'll go through the installation script, 
how we use pre-install, install, post-install, pre-uninstall, uninstall, and post-uninstall. So this was uh, the first chapter of uh, PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for chapter two. Like, subscribe, comment. See you soon.